the, the players have to buy into that. And those that buy in, regardless of how they got here, they're, they're, they're with us, they're one of us. Introduce to you the next head men's basketball coach at SMU, Coach Rob Lanier. You're either gonna buy into it or you're not. And if you buy into it, pony up. What can be expected when you watch us play, what should be expected, is that we will play really hard. When I got here was to create an environment for the players. I mean, that's where just us comes into play. We know our narrative, we can control our own narrative, we can control our own destiny, and um, we have to be really intentional every day, and it's definitely an up and downhill battle for us with that, but um, we have the pieces to be who we desire to be, and I believe we have the mindset. And I believe we have the leaders that can uh, come in and push everybody every day to get there. You know, we've had a lot of guys who want to do things the way we're prescribing. And we don't have all the answers. We have a certain way of doing things. And uh, we're tr we're, we really try to take the approach that we're in this together, players, coaches alike. It's not just uh, a dictatorship. Certainly, uh, I embrace the role of being the leader of, of what we're doing. Um, but this is an endeavor that we're in together. And so along that journey, uh, I won't be perfect, and I'm not asking them to be perfect. Um, but I am asking all of these guys to give their best efforts and that we do it together. Buffalo, New York, East Side. Um, I mean, it's been a little bit of a journey. Uh, I started at a Division II school. Called, uh, it's called Damon University now. It was called Damon College when I was there. And with Coach being from Buffalo, it all kind of just made sense. He felt comfortable with me. I felt comfortable with him. So it just all kind of worked out that way. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm appreciative that he took the time and he believed in me. So um, that's how I ended up here. And the fact that he just wasn't willing to hire me off of the strength that I was from Buffalo was, was really big to me, I think. Um, it wasn't like I, like I had options, but it was just like the fact that, you know, he wasn't just like, I'm, I'm not going to just hire you just because you're from Buffalo. I want to make sure I get to know you. Coach Chenier not really one of those guys who really, you know, you're not just bringing you on for that. You kind of just got to be somebody who's a humble person, who's believing in what he, you know, what he believes in, which is really just being about the kids and, you know, just being humble and, and, and just being a good person and developing the players. So to me, that, that was big for me. Um, I know he's on me a lot. So for a coach to be on me a lot, he probably he sees something in me and it's just, me just understanding what that is, or it may not be as big as my as big as I want it to be now. But like, just as I keep working, I know more opportunities will open up for me. So it's just taking in whatever he says and understanding what he's saying, and then just getting better each and every day with that. Played a big role into this because he's definitely making me a better player day by day. Uh, I chose here because one. Um, before even coming here, they was at Georgia State, and um, I, I could I could have had a chance to go there, but Rob just kept or Coach Rob kept it real with me and was basically telling me it's a big opportunity. You know what I'm saying? I know you can play at this level. There's, there's stuff that you need to work on that you're gonna get better at, and I want you to be a better player. So I feel like here being a bigger opportunity for myself, and just knowing what all this comes with, that was a challenge that I was willing to take. So I just felt like coming to SMU is going to help me in the long run. So whenever uh, whenever they call me, they put me in a, a, Zoom, a Zoom call. We right here though, but they put me in a Zoom call 
And like I was like I was serious, but I didn't know what really, what really was going on at the time. So and then when they told me they were going to offer me, like I didn't know how to react. I I kept a straight yeah, face the whole face yeah the whole time. The, the whole time. time. You're like, like the whole time I had a blank face, and then uh, they were. I think I forgot who. I think Coach Crow was like, "You can smile, you can smile." That's when I started smiling and let my emotions up. But for the most part, I was like, I was really excited, but I didn't show it at the time because I didn't know how to react towards it for real. So, yeah. For ten rounds and just fight. We start the game out great. We still got to finish the game. They start the game out great. All ten rounds at level five. The atmosphere out there is dope now. It's dope. It's, you know, I, I respect it and I love it. But this is really, I've been doing this 33 years and this is why I still have atmosphere like this where we get to go and do something. Now listen, you don't get that. You get to experience it and then you get to learn from it. You don't get to do it over. So when you're doing it, get lost in it. We talk about focusing on us, not the opponent. What can we control? Is it our effort? Is it paying attention and scouting? Is it improving where we have deficiencies? You know, that has nothing to do with an opponent, whether it's a scrimmage, an exhibition game. You know, coach uses the phrase all the time, the best version of ourselves. That's what we're working on every day as a team. As a coaching staff, it's the same thing. We're uh, daily trying to have conversations about how we can improve our players, how can we improve our program. Like all those things go into just us. Is coming to a hostile environment. And they're showing their toughness and their grit. Not all from three. Feels it. I'd ask you to be perfect and do your best. And I think we will see individually and collectively the best version of this group when the final chapter is written about this particular team.